many people visit Carolina Beach State Park to see glimpses of the Venus flytrap grown in its natural habitat. Charles Darwin called the Venus flytrap the most wonderful plant in the world. This rare plant species only naturally grows within a 100 mile radius of Wilmington, North Carolina. In 1759, naturalist and royal governor of North Carolina, Arthur Dobbs discovered the Venus flytrap at historic Brunswick Town along the Cape Fear River. This historic site can be seen from atop Sugarloaf Hill, just across the river at Carolina Beach State Park. April 2nd of that year, Dobbs wrote a letter to the English horticologist Peter Collinson about a new plant species. In his letter, Dobbs describes a catchfly sensitive, which has a bear trap that closes on anything that walks across it. Interest for the plant quickly spread throughout America and England during the 18th and 19th centuries, and large quantities of the fly traps were removed from the pine forests of southeast North Carolina. In 1980, the population of wild growing Venus fly traps was estimated at 5 million. By 2010, that number fell to only 86,000. Flytrap requires damp, nutrient-poor soil conditions found near the Carolina swamps. But drainage of these areas has made the land inhabitable for these carnivorous plants. Habitat destruction due to residential and commercial construction is largely to blame. The flytraps have suffered greatly due to the rapid increase of human population within the region. Fortunately, there are protected sites where the Venus flytrap thrives. These locations include Green Swamp, Boylan Springs Lake, Holly Shelter, and Carolina Beach State Park. These plants are so unique that they have become an oddity for many people to collect. House Bill 1059 is in the final steps of becoming state law. Under this new law, it will now be a Class H felony instead of a misdemeanor if any individual is caught poaching flytraps in the wild within New Hanover County. With public education, the flytrap will continue to rebound in the remaining habitats and will be enjoyed for generations to come.